So before you, here it is, history in the making. The Model A, the Ford Model A car, built from 1927 to 1930, 31. Over four and a half million of these cars were built. And well, that one's a little different. Check out the horns. <laughs> That is a VW kit car, probably a Bonneville car back in the day. You see the different styles, the two-door, the four-door, the business class. Here's the four-door. Well, and then here's a club member. That car, his car wouldn't start, so he got in his 1977 Monte Carlo. <laughs> yeah. He's also a member of the Monte Carlo club. One more coming up over the hill. The unique thing about these vehicles, well, they have a hand start, the old crank start, but Henry Ford was against the electric starter, and his, his group, his engineers said, you know what, we need to make this more like the GMs because they were taking over. The Model T car put out by Ford 10 years prior to this sold millions of vehicles, so this was the upgrade that uh, Henry Ford came up with. And then you'll see more accessories in them. They started having heat. The hand cranks were gone, replaced by electric starters. So the reason we brought them out early tonight is they all run on a six-volt battery system. And if you look at some of the headlights, your dome lights in your cars are brighter than that. So the, the club has to try to get done before dark so they can get these beautiful machines back home. All right, here we go. First round, spectacular drags. First time ever you're witnessing history, I'm telling you, folks. Now, you think this, if you watch spectacular drags before, they're kind of high-powered cars. Well, these cars have about 40 horsepower uh, under the hood. Now, some of the cars have updated their, uh, what's the number on that inside one, Dan? A little tape mark. 77. That is a 77 car. Randy Gilbertson out of Janesville in a, in a 29, 1929 two-door convertible Roadster. Outside, the double O, it's Tom Dermott out of Beloit, Wisconsin in a 1930 two-door Model A. How many want to see the convertible on the inside tonight? <laughs> How about the pretty black one on the outside? Let's watch the starter. And there they go. I told you this is going to be a high speed chase. Again, top speed was 30 to 40 miles an hour. Only. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cheer them on. They're, they brought these beautiful cars out for us to see tonight. They're having fun. So are we. Model A's at the line. Tommy Dermott takes home the win. So imagine, this is 95 years ago that these cars are somewhere around there. Your other ops or, or chances were a horse and a carriage. Inside this, that is a 1964 VW kit car, that 13 Brad Kohler out of Rockton. It's a beautiful looking machine. Was that raced at Bonneville or Indianapolis or not that car, but this, that style? Something like that, he says. Outside of him, it's a 58 Jordan Wedding out of Lake Mills, Wisconsin, and a 1929 two door. How many want to see the red cool car on the inside? How about the pretty one with the orange wheels on the outside? All right, speed demons I like. Let's watch the starter. I suppose in 1929 there was not a burnout contest anywhere, do you think? Probably not. No, no. 
Uh oh, here comes that DW kit car. The aerodynamics are picking up for him. He needs Snoopy riding along with him. To the line. Help me out, Danny. <laughs> on the inside, that beautiful. What number is that on the inside, Dan, for me? 52. That is 52. And LaVoyette. LaVoyette? La ah, I screwed that up. Out of Roscoe, 1932 door Model A Coupe. Beautiful looking car. Outside, it's the 8. That is Larry Anderson out of McChesney Park in a 1929 two-door. Let's watch the starter. And off they go. Imagine traveling across the country in one of these back in the day. Well, it's better than walking. It's better than riding a horse. Well, I guess we're all pretty lucky today what we got to ride and drive in. Here it is, down the front stretch. Powers it down. Larry Anderson puts the pedal to the metal. Did you ever think you'd be at Rockford Speedway doing a drag? No, both of them. What's the inside car number? Give me that inside one. Wait. There she's waiting. 30. That is Dave Clark, I guess, and his wife. That's right. All right, Dave Clark out of Roscoe in a 1930 two-door Model A Coupe. Outside, it's a 31. Greg McQuery out of Rockford in a 31 two-door. We got the 31s versus the 31s. Green versus blue. Let's watch the starter. And there they go. A tight battle coming out of turn three and four. Here they come to the line. Checkered flag a waving. And it's the green one. Awesome. No. And the convertible rolls back up. In the beautiful four door on the inside, that is Dwayne Meyer in a 1934 door out of Rockford. Outside him, it's Butch, Butch Hogan in a 1931 two door Model A convertible. Awesome. All right, pick your favorite. Let's watch the starter. Uh oh, she backfired. These two? 
Yeah. All right. Not the El Camino. Not the El Camino. Well, the El Camino, he said the black one wants to race the red one. Coming out of turn four, the convertible on a Sunday drive. Uh oh, here comes the four door coming strong at the line. Butch Hogan takes home that one. Now the club is having some fun. What kind of motor is in that thing? Uh, air -cooled An air cooled Volkswagen, a VW kit car. 1200 cc and the old Monte Carlo 1977 we're gonna back him up we're gonna handicap him a little because the car on the inside has got the aerodynamics but the Monte Carlo or the El Camino oh spread it out for the years well you better go a long way back all right folks pick your favorite let's watch the starter Go, Monte! I call it a Monte. It looks like a Monte Carlo front end, but it is an El Camino. They just cut the rear off of it. Or Chevelle. I think the drone is going to beat him. I think the drone did beat him. It is a beautiful car, though. And the VW kit car takes home the win. Brad Kohler out of Rockton. And uh, El Camino. Because the A wouldn't start. Couldn't hand crank it or nobody to push them. If you look at these cars, there's zero room inside. I mean, there's they're packed in there. Hard to get in and out of. On the inside at the eight car, it's Larry Anderson in his 1929 two-door. Outside the double zero, Tom Dermott in the 30 two-door Model A out of Beloit. Let's watch the starter. And we got a race. Did I hear tire squeal there? No, all right, I thought I did. <laughs> I can see why they wanted to race a little earlier, because they got a long ride home, even if they live in Rockton. Today's technology is where it all started, folks. And the winner. Getting down to the finals here. Inside the beautiful green two door. Outside, all right, I'll tell you a secret, folks. The 13 or the 18 car, it's actually a kit car. What year, what's underneath that? 70? It's a 1980 Pinto undercarriage and frame. So he's got a little more ponies up uh, under that car. Beautiful kit car on top, convertible. All right, folks, let's watch the starter. Yeah, he'd have no problem getting home. He'd definitely win that race home. I look both ways. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> so they're smashing the throttle to the ground right there not this yellow car but the 29 and there's our winner thanks for coming that's brad kohler in that 64 vw kit car outside 
Down to the final. We got one more round here. It's a double zero. Tom Dermott. Out of Beloit in his 1930. How about the red kit car on the inside? Who wants him to win? How about the beautiful black two door on the outside? How many of you want to see one of them hit the wall? Oh, we just had to do it once. All right, folks, let's watch the starter. That would be really sad <laughs> if that happened. Tiny little skinny tires on these things. At least they don't have the wood spokes of the Model T version. And the winner. Thank you, guys. All right, we're down to the final round. We're going to give the trophy to one of these Model A Club members. Would like to thank them for coming out. Thank you guys for being part of it. They're living their dreams. It's good to look back and see where this country came from and innovation. Henry Ford, the production line that turned the Model T into the success it was. And believe it or not, these cars are what happened after that. So I'm, thank God we don't have the Model T club here. It would be here till midnight because they go a lot slower. On the inside, it's Butch Hogan in that 13 car. Outside... It's Brad Kohler in the kit car. Winner take all this time around. Let's watch the starter. <laughs> uh oh, here comes the kit car. He's winding it out. The convertible, dogging it behind to the line. Your winner, the Brad Kohler, out of Rockton. Second place. Look at him, <laughs> getting some other juice. All right, thanks again for watching and being part of Model A Spectacular Drags, the Rockford A Club. If you ever see him out at car shows, tell him you saw him drag racing at Rockford Speedway. I'd like to thank Butch Hogan and the crew for putting that all together. And uh, Dave Clark of the club for making their memories here at Rockford Speedway on our uh, last season at Rockford Speedway. Model A Club, we'll see you soon at the next car show. We got more racing coming up and more spectacular drags. And Greg's favorite part, we got numbers. All right, Greg Magnuson, back to you. All right, thank you, David.